The Pyramids of Giza, silent sentinels of a bygone era, captivating humankind for millennia. How did they construct something so massive? The idea seems impossible even today. A feat of extraordinary engineering and human effort, built by skilled hands and brilliant minds. The ancient Egyptians were masters of geometry and mathematics. They used these skills to plan and design the pyramids with incredible accuracy. The pyramids' alignment with the cardinal points is no accident. It reflects their deep understanding of astronomy and their ability to apply complex geometric principles to their construction projects. Imagine the challenge building structures so massive yet so precisely aligned without the aid of modern technology. The Egyptians used a system of ropes, plumb bobs, and sundials to achieve this accuracy. They could determine true north, measure angles, and ensure the pyramid sides were perfectly straight. This meticulous planning extended to every aspect of the pyramid's design. They calculated the exact size and shape of each block. They determined the precise angle of inclination for the pyramid sides. This meticulous planning was crucial to the project's success. Contrary to popular belief, slaves did not build the pyramids. The construction of these monumental structures fell to skilled laborers, artisans, and craftsmen. These workers were not forced into service. They were respected members of Egyptian society, compensated for their labor. Evidence from archaeological excavations at worker settlements near the pyramids supports this. These settlements reveal a glimpse into the lives of the pyramid builders. We find evidence of bakeries, breweries, and even medical facilities. These findings indicate a level of organization and care that was not afforded to slaves. These laborers took pride in their work. They were not merely following orders. They were using their skills and knowledge to create something truly extraordinary. It was a massive collaborative effort that spanned generations. The journey of a single stone from quarry to pyramid was a monumental task in itself. It all began in the quarries where massive blocks of limestone and granite were extracted. The Egyptians used copper tools which, while softer than stone, were surprisingly effective when combined with their knowledge of quarrying techniques. They would cut channels into the rock, insert wooden wedges, and then soak them with water. The expanding wood would create cracks in the stone, allowing them to extract the massive blocks. These blocks, weighing an average of two and a half tons each, were then transported to the pyramid construction site. Imagine the logistical challenge of moving these massive stones over long distances. The Egyptians, however, were masters of ingenuity. They developed innovative techniques to transport these building blocks, ensuring a steady supply of material for the pyramid's construction. Moving the massive stone blocks across the desert sands was a significant hurdle. The Egyptians relied on wooden sledges, which they dragged across the sand. But they didn't just drag these sledges over dry sand, they cleverly wet the sand in front of the sledge. This created a hard, slick surface that reduced friction, allowing for easier movement. This simple yet effective method demonstrates the Egyptians' understanding of basic physics and their ability to apply it to solve practical problems. But the sledges were only part of the equation. The Egyptians also constructed massive ramps leading up the sides of the pyramids. These ramps, made of earth, brick and wood, allowed workers to haul the stones to greater heights, gradually building up the pyramid's structure. Section 6. Reaching for the Heavens, the Role of Ramps Ramps were essential to pyramid construction enabling the movement of heavy stones upward. Different theories exist about the types of ramps used. Some believe in straight ramps extending from the base. Others propose spiral ramps wrapping around the exterior. A combination of ramp types might have been used. Ramps were engineering marvels, strong and wide enough for stones and workers. Section 7. Levers and Counterweights, Conquering Gravity Once the stones reached the desired height, the next challenge was to maneuver them into their precise positions. Here, the Egyptians employed a combination of levers, rollers, and ropes. By carefully manipulating these tools, they could lift and rotate the heavy stones with surprising control. They may have also used a system of counterweights to help lift the stones vertically. By attaching heavy weights to one end of a lever, they could create a mechanical advantage, making it easier to raise the stone on the other end. Imagine the coordination and teamwork required to maneuver these multi-ton blocks with such precision. It's a testament to the skill and experience of the Egyptian workforce who had honed their craft over generations. 
These were not unskilled laborers but rather skilled artisans, working together to create an architectural masterpiece. Section 8. A Glimpse into the Lives of the Builders Archaeological excavations near the pyramids have unearthed worker settlements that provide valuable insights into the lives of those who built these monumental structures. These settlements were not slums. They were organized communities with evidence of comfortable living conditions. Archaeologists have discovered bakeries, breweries, and even medical facilities in these settlements. This suggests that the workers were well cared for. They had access to food, drink, and medical attention. These findings challenge the notion of slave labor and paint a picture of a workforce that was respected and valued. The discovery of cemeteries near the pyramids provides further evidence of the respect afforded to these workers. Some tombs even contain inscriptions that describe the deceased's role in the pyramid construction. These findings humanize the people who built the pyramids, reminding us that these were not nameless laborers but individuals with families, skills, and a place in Egyptian society. Section 9, A Final Flourish, The Art of Polishing With the pyramid's structure complete, the final stage involved encasing the entire structure in smooth white limestone. These casing stones, quarried from a different location than the core blocks, were carefully transported to the site and then meticulously fitted into place. The Egyptians used copper tools, sand and water to polish the casing stones to a brilliant shine. The result was a dazzling spectacle, with the polished surfaces reflecting the sunlight and making the pyramid shimmer like a jewel in the desert. Sadly, much of this polished limestone casing has been removed over the centuries, reused in other construction projects or lost to the ravages of time. However, enough remains to give us a glimpse of the pyramid's former glory. The construction of the pyramids was not just an engineering feat but also an artistic endeavor, a testament to the ancient Egyptians' pursuit of beauty and perfection.